I shouldn't do this because it's late, but I'm going to tell some scary stories. So my dad grew up in a little Texas town and uh, think Miami, Miami. And he would tell me about all these things that he would experience out there. He said that they would find cannonballs and little remnants of things, historical things, but there was no real like link to history in that area. Obviously, there must have been some crossover because of where it was located, but it wasn't like a major city that's ever been listed on anything. Anyway, point being, at night uh, when he would cross the fields, he would they would hear, him and his brothers would hear these chains and it would sound like they were hitting the ground and then dragging and hitting the ground and dragging right alongside them. It would be pitch dark. And he said that they would stop and they would listen. And I'm sure he had a light source of some kind with him, but there would be nobody there and the sound would stop. Then they would start again. And I think one time he said they just all ran when they heard it. Um, he saw a Bigfoot out there before they even knew what a Bigfoot was. Um, and let's see, the devil dog, um, that was an all night ordeal. So I'd have to do like a whole story on that one or a whole video on that one because that one went into a little bit more depth. But he said when he came home that he told his mom all about it. And she said, that sounds like El Diablo, which is Italian for the devil. Um, trying to think of, cause he had a lot, um, UFOs that his mom used to go out on the porch and watch them. And his dad was like, Oh, there's nothing out there. And one day the dad finally went outside and which would have been my grandpa. Um, he went outside and saw him floating around. And after that, um, he was afraid to go out at night and he was from my dad's, uh, description was a very gruff man. So, you know, but he said that scared him. Um, they, they had a little shed. I think it was on their property. I'm not sure exactly where, but when they would walk by it, they would hear people talking in Spanish. And my dad would tell me what they were saying. I don't remember what it was now. I think he even said you could see shadows inside. And then they would go in there thinking somebody was on their property and nobody would be there. And, you know, just stuff that makes you wonder. My sister saw a dog with a man's face. She said they were driving into the town and she's like, Oh, look at that dog. And then they got closer and it had the face of a man. She goes, you could see the beard and everything. And I'm like, yeah, something's going on in that town. I don't know what I've gone back for like a couple of funerals. They've built it up. I'm sure because there's a dollar general now. So, you know, um, but I still think it's, you know, still pretty much country out there. I don't think I'd want to go back <laughs> just based on those stories alone. At least I wouldn't want to spend a night there.